Hello everyone, it's Leon here from Kotaku UK and I've got a few short tips for Sunset Overdrive. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is make a statement. The character creation system is completely genderless, which means you can be whatever you ever wanted to be. It also lets you switch up your look whenever you want, so if you fancy style, build or gender changes at any point, you can knock yourself out. You are going to have to make your piece with a sense of humour. This is a game with a gun in the shape of a cock and balls and it wastes no time in showing you. Chances are you're either going to laugh or facepalm, but whatever your reaction, get used to it because it's like this the whole game. Make sure you clear the first few story missions. Much like Shadow of Mordor, there are some useful upgrades here you only get once you've completed certain missions. Moves like the power bounce that let you jump higher off of cars and the air dash are vital to getting around the city more easily. You should unlock them by the time you reach the Troop Bushido missions. Without them, you won't have the range to link together grinds and leaps, making it harder to chain traversal moves. Always stay high and stay moving. Sunset Overdrive is not your usual third person shooter. Try to run around on the ground, blasting enemies and you'll die, a lot and often. Instead, get used to grinding and bouncing around as you fight. The sooner you get used to keeping an eye on where to bounce next and reversing grinds, the sooner you'll get the hang of how the game's action works. Keep a focus on crowd control. Nearly all the combat involves mobs of enemies. As a result, anything that helps you thin out the crowds is vital. Whatever your loadout is, make sure you have a selection of area of effect weapons and powers, plus anything that boosts your firepower. A really good combo is the Acid Sprinkler and Turret Copter. The Acid on its own only weakens enemies, but combined with the Copter Drones it can reduce large mobs to nothing in seconds. The TN Teddy and Hairspray Bomb are also great against groups. There are also some good weapon amps that can help, like Bear Force 1 which has a chance to turn enemies into TN Teddies, or Fear the Reaper which creates a Grim Reaper to kill enemies for you. Don't sweat the amps too much. You have a range of amps and overdrives that affect abilities and give you different powers. Amps have more offensive and obvious options such as adding elemental damage or explosive effects, while the overdrives are more like perks, doing things like boosting damage against certain enemies. The thing is, the action's so chaotic, free-flowing and changeable that if you worry too much about trying to balance, mix and tweak all the options, you'll miss out on half the fun. Instead, just pick the pretty stuff, things that explode, zap or fill the screen with effects and go crazy. The only exception are the weapon amps. Make sure you've used all the ones you have and switch out the most useful to your favourite guns, as a few wise choices here can do half the killing for you. Do however keep an eye on your badges. While the overdrives require near constant micromanagement to make them worth using, it's a good idea to keep an eye on the badges you earn to unlock them. They are levelled up by what you do in the game, making them a great way to track what you're actually doing. Chances are how you think you're playing the game and how you actually are will be two different things, so have a look in case there are any amps you could make better use of. Forget about the left trigger, just leave it alone. It slows your grinds down a little but doesn't really add much else. This isn't a game about precision aiming anyway, it's more of a spray and pray affair. Make the effort to master the wall runs. If you're having trouble with them, it's worth getting the hang of them as combined with the air dash, they're a handy way of stringing together traversal combos and making sharp changes in direction. Don't forget, you can always tap B at corners to follow the wall round. Make sure you die a lot. Seriously die all the time or you won't see the different respawn animations. Some of them are like shinies that only show up a few times, others appear constantly. But if you don't die regularly, you'll never know. So there you go, there's a few quick tips for Sunset Overdrive. Feel free to subscribe or like, and if you have any questions, then leave a comment and I'll try to answer them. The default gun is basically a cotton balls. A little pair of dangling testicles yeah, under the barrel. Come through the door. That was it. Stop convenient. Shit. Ah! That's not going to work, so... Ah!